We understand the world today in terms of four forces of nature, the strong and weak nuclear forces, electromagnetism and gravity. Now, gravity is perhaps the most familiar, but in fact, it's by far the weakest of the four forces. So weak, in fact, that we can completely ignore its effects when we explore the subatomic world, at least with today's experiments. Besides the familiar but weak force of gravity, there are three other forces in this universe, each of which is vital for our existence. Now, it may not seem obvious, but the force that holds these bubbles together is the same force that allows this flame to burn, electromagnetism. It's the force that allows us to push and pull things, the force that allows us to see everything in the world around us, and the force that allows your TV set to work. Electromagnetism is the force that holds electrons in place around the atomic nucleus and holds the atoms and molecules in place in my body. It also causes electrons to repel each other. So even though the whole planet Earth is pulling the apple down to the ground, the apple stays firmly in my hand because the electrons in its surface are repelled by the electrons in my palm. I've used the word electromagnetism to describe a single force. But electricity and magnetism seem at first sight to be very different phenomena. The magnetism that makes this top levitate seems to have nothing in common with these electrical sparks. The Greeks knew that if you rubbed a piece of amber with fur, it would pick up feathers. They also knew that certain rocks attracted iron. But they had no idea that the two were related.